No red crosses out there. That's got to feel pretty good. Everybody's. Yeah, but not everybody's out there. Not everybody's out there. Yeah. So, but. it's back. Who's missing today, and who might be unavailable for the weekend? We'll know tonight. It's one of those. Seeing if guys can travel. And... Yeah, we we're gonna get word tonight. Okay. Just that year. You guys did get a power play goal during the UMD series. <laughs> did you, how much headway do you feel like you made, if any, towards getting that figured out? The, the, that's a question for next Monday because um, um, addressed. But it's, it's more than just that. There's a, you know, I, I think there's an underlying thing with the penalties and the power play and, the, and you know, some, some offensive zone play that, that – like miss nets or, you know, I think there's a related thread in there that's been addressed that, that they get, they know. And um, um, and I'm just going to stay on Main Street too right now. It's like it was almost the second week with a full roster, um, but we're, we're, we're making progress in some areas. And, I, and like, it's like, you know, every early in seasons, that, you know, every team has another step. And, our, and, and the one good thing we said is you know, everything we addressed was offense. Well, this is a group that should strive on that. So, you know, I, I said there's 62 teams in college hockey, I think, uh, 62 teams. I said 48 of them are working on defense. We're working on offense. So I, I think you should kind of take that as, okay, something fun to work on. Is that to insinuate that you're pretty happy with your defense right now? Things are uh, no, from a, I mean, look what we've done so far. And our, our decor keeps getting stronger. They're, they're healthy, and um, that hasn't been an issue for us. There been, I mean, after eight games, the issue is right in front of us. You know, penalties have, have, have really hurt us in two of those games, um, and and a better power play. I was just going to say, just a few games in, uh, what, eight or nine games, but eight. how did you assess kind of Jimmy Snuggard's uh, second season? Well, how many has he got? Six. six? He's got six goals in eight games. That, that, that's a pretty good – you keep going doing that, that's a pretty good season. Uh, and, and there's more to come. So, it, it, you know, sometimes sophomores come back and they – there's a little slow start for some sophomores all over every sport because you're wide-eyed when you're young, and then they kind of get through it. And I think that's our whole our whole sophomore class who who is are contributing right now, but they're even going to get better. How much will you be pounding home that idea of don't commit penalties this weekend against that Michigan power play? It's, it's being pounded home. We do that every weekend, and that's always been a staple of ours: is being disciplined. And it has been undisciplined penalties, um, you know, and ticky tack stuff, not, uh, you know, you know, hooking, you know, no, no, no. So that's been addressed. We it was addressed Monday. Speaking of defense, what do you guys need to do against an offense as good as Michigan's? And they, and they thrive on the offense. It's yeah. they have not won a game that they've scored fewer than five goals. Um, well, they they can score in bunches, and and uh, you have to be disciplined. Uh, you have to be disciplined in the in your in your actions, not taking penalties. You have to be disciplined in your play, um, not have turnovers. You know, a lot of the things that we're, we're we're we've been real good at. We've been really good at that one night a week, um, and it's just being more consistent with that. Ryan uh, Johnson made his NHL yeah. debut last week. There's yeah. five guys now on last year's team. Do you ever, do you ever just glance at last year's roster and say, oh, you know, what a, what a, what a group to, to put five guys in the NHL we, that quickly? We do that. There's no question. And uh, it was fun. Even he went, you know, I think he played eight minutes his first game in 19 last night and, you know, and picked up an assist. And um, it was really good, really good to see. Uh, and no surprise. Staying yeah. on the topic of. Last year, I cut you off. Saying on the topic of last year, do you ever use last year's, uh, like at this point last year, as a baseline for how the season should be going? In terms um, of record. What was it last year? At this point, I believe it's 7 3 and out for record. Oh, so we're not at that point yet. So we've only played eight games. So we have two more games to go. And we could be pretty close to that. So we're, I mean, I, I don't.
I don't ever do that. Like, look at last year to this year because they're two different teams. All we, it's you know, steady, and and that's what we're doing right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a clue what we were at this time last year. One of the more steady guys on your back end has been Cal Thomas. You know, not, not a lot of flash in his game, and maybe gets overshadowed by some other guys on the blue line. But he got rewarded last weekend with a goal, and you know, just generally your thoughts on Cal. He's overshadowed with you, hmm. not with us. Hmm. Uh, and that is, and and I don't think he's overshadowed around the league either. Um, he is a solid, good hockey player, and only keeps getting better. So, overshadows in your, in your area. I see, uh, you know, what what do you see from him in the room? Like, you see him, he seems to me to be a quiet guy. But what do you what do you? He's see? very quiet around us, but yeah. just he's steady. He doesn't, you know, his work ethic. I mean, that's the type of of leadership and mentality you want out of your, your guys, especially start logging minutes like that, because it feeds to other guys. Um, and I and our decor, in, if anything's taken monster strides, one, we've got Kester back, and he's only going to continue to get better because he's a little rusty after being out. Um, I mean, Carl Fish is leaps and bounds is what he's done in, in eight games, where he was in game two, game four, <coughs> game six, game eight, and, and Cal's steady. and. Um, that that is right now. If our forwards could take that, those strides like our decor has, we'd be in a good spot. Renzel had a good weekend offensively. What are your thoughts on his play so far? Um, excellent. A, a guy like Sam, with all that talent, has, you got to let him make a few mistakes, so he can in have those aha moments. Not just the aha moments offensively or aha. Like, like for example, we, we go, how have you been getting your points? He goes off the breakout and shooting from the point. That's how a defenseman gets points. Sometimes he wants to run it across the goal line. And uh, he's got himself a little trouble, like last, the, you know, but that's okay. He's got to learn that sometimes the, the simpler you keep it with talent like that, the better it is. And I, I think it's been fun to watch. And, and, uh, I don't mind some of those mistakes. He's got to, you got to let him take it out for a spin once in a while. And, and, uh, and then I'd rather, you know, put a fire out than start one. And, and he, he's making great progress. It's only going to keep going, too. I was just going to ask about Cal, his first goal. You know, you were kind of critical of Jimmy Clark, but didn't sell he very well. What, what did you see from Cal? Awesome. First goal? Awesome. <laughs> like, like he'd been there a thousand times. Loved it. Loved it. Did you hear Cal talk about the goal, how he saw four opponents in front of him? <clears throat> That's his mental cue that he could go to the net there. <laughs> That's kind of high-level stuff. You like hearing that from a yeah. sophomore? Yes, I do. <laughs> you know, I, uh, he's just a fun, good player. He's one of those two that, that, one that I'll have to introduce myself to him at the end of the season. <laughs> those are the guys that you don't ever talk to. And it, it, they're... I had, a, I had a defenseman at St. Cloud once at the end of the year. I said, I'm so sorry. I go, you and I never talk. I go, and ever, because it's just steady and high level, and, and, uh, and sometimes they, they have to know their coaching dreams to have players like that that you really don't ever have to say a word to. Um, just check in once in a while. How's the weather? And good coach. <laughs> Um, is the team looking to improve anything in this Michigan series specifically? I, I, well, we've been really good one night a week so far. I want to continue to be that really good that one night a week, and it would be nice if we could be a two. And and that's what we're 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 moving toward. You know, then and maybe we're sitting right where you know I the penalties have cost us what I really think two of the games, of our two of our losses, and that can be corrected. You know, that's what a coach looks at. You know, uh, we didn't look at two in a row, three in a row. We, you just you just keep chunking away at, at what you see. Um, you know, there'll be some other things because we're still we got a lot of young players that, that we're throwing out there, and we and and look what we lost. You know, and sometimes they come back think it's just going to be that easy. It's not. It's not that easy. Um, we had a we had a safety blanket last year, and you're watching all five of them play. Uh, we all are, and they're doing quite well. Um, but that's college sports. Now it's a new group. They get to take over. And 
if we can stay steady, I, I like our group. We'll hang in there. Another big test, though, with Michigan. Red Pitt look had a nice weekend as well. Did he make any changes in this game? We, one for him, he finally scored because that, that that's that mm -hmm. air leaving, you know, because now you start to breathe a little bit. Um, and we, you know, enormous amount of talent. And that, when that talent comes out like that, he's going to, he, he collects points. That's the one thing he does. Rounding out his game uh, uh, as he gets, becomes an upperclassman now is, you know, that next big step for him. And I think weekends like that help build toward that. Okay. Thanks. You Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Michigan is such a high-scoring team. What do you guys got to do to try to throttle back their offense a little bit this weekend? Yeah, I mean, obviously they they know how to score goals. They're you know one of the highest-scoring teams in the country. They have the skill up front. I think if we uh, you know shut them down defensively with, defensively with their young D core and you know push them back too, push their D back and kind of create our own zone pressure. You know we can handle them all weekend. Their power play is very good as well. How important is it for you guys to stay out of the box? Very. I think, you know, I know a few guys on that power play, uh, there's some really skilled players out there. They understand the game very well. So to, you know, stay out of the penalty box this weekend, you know, would be a major upside, but our penalty kill has obviously been looking really good lately. So. Bob's been talking about the penalties he's taken so far, sick penalties and things like that. What, what kind of messages are you and the players hearing? You know, there's a lot. I think stick penalties are one of the major things that, you know, we, we need out of our game right now. Uh, you know, he obviously is uh, benching guys if they, they take those dumb penalties. And, you know, we understand that as a team that we can't do that. So, I mean, the, the messages he brought upon us are basically just stay out of the box whenever we can. Don't take dumb stick penalties. Kind of the obvious things, but, you know, we're kind of rallying in our minds right now. Where are the keys to avoid getting your stick caught up? Yeah, just kind of use your feet. I think it's kind of keep up, keep speed up with the other players. Uh, it's you know basic hockey stuff. Don't get your stick caught up on their arms. You know refs are calling a lot these days too. You mentioned that um, most teams at this point are working on defense. He's got you guys working more on offense. Um, how do you like that? <laughs> I like it. Uh, you know, as a player, it's obviously nice knowing your coach wants you. You know, be better offensively. It's a huge task for our forwards, and you know we enjoy it. We're enjoying it right now. Obviously, we're. Pretty good defensively against Duluth. Uh, not a lot of time spent in the D zone, and you know we're, we're creating opportunities right now. We just got to get to the net. What kind of things offensively do you do you think you want to see from this group in terms of improvement? I'd say just kind of getting the net. Like I said, uh, you know we had a, a pretty heavy film session this weekend getting in the net. You know we had 50 shots on Saturday night, and you know 35 I'd say came from you know no net for presence, and you know our forwards need to get there, and that's on us completely, and we understand that as a group. So this weekend will be better. Think back to last year at this time, obviously a lot of new for you. It's a different season now, but how would you kind of compare how this season feels for you personally? Yeah, it's obviously really different, really different picture, you know, from a line standpoint too, you know, I was playing with two NHL hockey players now, you know, I'm still playing with some really skilled forwards and it's obviously a really different picture for me. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I've, I've been fortunate enough to play with some some good guys last year and you come in this year and you bring in Oliver Moore, Pitlick and, you know, I've been getting some time with Nelson. It's, you know, it's a different picture and you know, I'm kind of making the best of it and having a lot of fun with it. Is it weird to turn on like network and some five guys that you played with last year. Now. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I was watching Cools last night. Uh, you know, they had an overtime or a shootout game actually. Uh, just kind of turn it on and see him playing. You know, on a random night, it's, it's pretty cool. Ryan too. Yeah, exactly. Yanni too. I mean, he played 20 minutes last night too. It's he's just so crazy to see what those guys are doing. You stay in touch with them with text messages. Anything stand out that you've heard from them? Uh, I'd say just the lifestyle for, I talk with Cools a lot, the lifestyle of a, uh, of a player is pretty insane, you know, like the little things he says that that guys do, it's it's pretty nuts, uh, just the stick work and, you know, the 82 game schedule is a lot of hockey and you kind of need to be ready for it. Um, how do you look to take advantage of the new goaltending situation in Michigan? Yeah, uh, obviously they had a good goaltender left last year, and you know they, they got some guys in coming in. Uh, I know one of them. He was at the Blues development camp, so he's you know obviously he's a good goalie at Canisius last year. I don't know if he'll be playing or not, but uh, just take advantage of what we can. You know, get pucks on net. Like I said, get to the net. 
your coach joked that he might be at Cal Thomas's graduation, but where he actually has a com uh, yeah. conversation with him. Yeah. yeah. You, you came in at the same time as Cal. Did you talk at all? I mean, how do you guys interact <laughs> with him? Uh, yeah, we talk. Uh, I mean, Bob's his, his own character, and, you know, he's a good guy, and he understands the game well. So, I mean, it's – I don't know really how to explain it, honestly. It's just, it's a good connection. That's just like a low key connection, I guess you could say. How good did it feel to see him come back to the bench for a high five after getting his first goal? Yeah, I know. It's, it's really cool to see that. Obviously, he's been, I don't know, we were talking about how many days it's been, and I don't remember, but I think it was a pretty long time. Uh, uh, I'm just really happy for Cal. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Oh, so are we going to have another one? So we will not have another one today. That's it, Ben. All right.